Okay class, this ins um, instructional video is about how to format your outline. Okay, so I have made up a very creative fake name. I'm going to pretend that um, I am a student and that my name is Jane Student. So as you can see, I have put my MLA heading. I have my last name and page number. Then I have my first name, the instructor name, the class, and the date. Okay, of course you would not do that. I'll change this for you. All right. All right, then I have a title up here, which is outline, colon, informational report on, and then you would put the name of your historical figure. All right, if you're not familiar with outlines, this is going to be a crash course, okay? As you can see, the Roman numerals over here are like the big main parts of what I want my research paper to be okay now remember this outline is simply a plan okay after I've done my research I'm sort of looking at what I have and I'm formulating this outline just because it's on my outline does not necessarily mean that it's going to appear in my paper when I begin writing I might um, figure out that maybe this part needs to be omitted maybe this part needs to be revised so don't feel like you um, that this is written in stone. You can always, you know, modify it as needed. Okay, so my first big part of this is called the introduction. Okay, there are two main parts of the introduction. The first part is the hook, and the second part is the thesis statement. At this point, you're probably very familiar with what a thesis statement entails. Okay, we'll probably have a forum um, this week where I want you to post your thesis statement. But for right now, I just want to talk about the hook. All right, so I am going to this um, PowerPoint. I'll post this, okay? But basically, this is about how to write a hook. All right, first thing is, what is a hook? It's the first one or two sentences of your paper, okay? Its job is to grab the reader's attention. You know, a lot of times um, you'll read like the first sentence of a magazine article or a book or a website and you'll say to yourself oh that's boring I don't want to read that and you'll go to something else so the hooks job is to grab the readers attention I'm the reader so make sure you grab my attention the first couple sentences will help your reader decide um, whether he or she wants to continue reading your essay or not all right what are some methods to establish an effective hook that's what we're going to talk about so here's the first one a quote from an influential person or expert. Now, when I say influential, I mean someone whose name most people recognize. When I say expert, I mean someone who has expertise or credentials in the specific field um, that you're researching. All right. So, I did. This is an example of a of a. Um, of course, my report's on Michael Jordan. Okay, and this is an NBA commentator. All right. So here's how my paper starts. Here's my hook. One awestruck NBA commentator described Air Jordan's stream of consciousness this way. Quote, once Michael Jordan gets up there, he says, well, maybe I'll just hang up here in the air for a while. Just sit back. Then all of a sudden he says, well, maybe I'll 360. No, I changed my mind. I'll go up on the other side. He's just incredible. Okay. And then I have the citation which is Johnson. So on my works cited page, I would see a works cited entry beginning with the name Johnson. Okay. So quote from an influential person. That's first. Method number two, include an anecdote about the influential historical figure that encompasses his or her most significant traits. All right. So I'm still writing about Michael Jordan. And my anecdote says, for almost 10 years, on any given night at the United Center, thousands of Chicago Bulls fans were all struck by the gravity-defying superstar Michael Jordan, easily the greatest basketball player of all time. With his limitless hang time and creative maneuvers, Jordan deserves the honor of being one of the most influential athletes in history. Okay, so I basically just sort of put the reader at the United Center along with all those fans, um, you know, chanting and clapping and yelling for Michael Jordan. All right, method number three, pose a thought-provoking question. Now, this one comes with a warning. A lot of times people don't know what to write for the hook, so they just put a question, okay? Who is Michael Jordan? 
Um, that is not a thought provoking question at all. So don't use this method as a cop out for doing some critical thinking. All right. If you decide to go with the question, make sure that it's a deep thought provoking um, scholarly question. All right. So here's mine. How does a small town basketball player who was cut from his high school team become one of the most influential athletes, entrepreneurs, and superstars of our time? Now, if you ask a question, the reader is going to expect you to do what? That's right, you have to answer it. So whatever question you ask, I expect um, somewhere in your paper you need to answer that question. All right, and method number four. Give a startling statistic. Now, when I say startling, I mean something that grabs your attention and the reader says, wow, really? I had no idea. Okay, so here's mine. In his prime, basketball superstar Michael Jordan averaged 30 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, and 1 block per game. He also had 6 NBA titles to accompany his impressive stats. In each one of those championship seasons, he was the finals MVP, which proves indeed that he is the greatest of all time. And then I got that information. I don't know those facts off the top of my head. So you can see that I cited Bruce. As my source okay so on my works cited page I would expect to see a works cited entry that begins with the name Bruce okay now I'm going back to the outline as you can see I this is sort of like a chronological example you don't have to format your outline this way at all okay this is just an example but I'm gonna do some biographical info and then in that category I'm gonna talk about his early life his high school career. Then I'm going to get in more detail and talk about his college career. I'm going to talk about UNC Chapel Hill, um, the NCAA championship, and the awards that he won. Okay. Then after the biographical info, my next big section is his professional career. So as you can see, these are going to be the subheadings under under um, his professional career. Then I'm going to briefly discuss his Olympic career, then get into him as a person, his business interest. I want to talk about Air Jordan and the spokesman for like Wheaties, Gatorade, that kind of stuff. Then after retirement, I'm going to talk about what he did there. Um, and then how he has influenced the following um, aspects of society, how he's influenced basketball, popular culture, and fashion. And then I'm going to have my conclusion. Okay, so your assignment is to produce an outline like like mine, not necessarily chronological, but an outline otherwise known as a plan for your paper. All right. When you do your hook, I actually want you to insert your hook in your paper. Okay, so let's say that I'm going to use this one. When I look at your hook. I mean, when I look at your outline, I actually want that in there like this. I also want the thesis statement typed here. Okay. I hope you understand. If you have any questions, please email me.